What's up guys? Big D Wiz. Old school stereo.com. We have us a new device here for the test bench. We have a Panasonic Distortion Meter VP7704P. I'm going to show you how useful this device is in conjunction with our O-Scope and DD1. I'm going to show you how important it is to uh, check your outputs of your head unit and make sure it doesn't have any distortion. Now, what we have here is an Alpine CDA7977. This is before they had the um, MP3 playback and stuff like that. As you can see, it says four volt pre-out. And what we're gonna show you here with the distortion uh, meter is we have the range set at 1%. And I'll show you in a minute that we're actually gonna change that. We have the level set at 10 volts. So on this side, the scale that goes up to one, we're just gonna multiply that by 10. So if it gets to nine, it'll be nine volts instead of 0.9, etc. You can do that math. I'll help you if you can't. And on this side, since that we have it set at 1%, then the numbers are correct. This is 1, 0.9, etc. So we're gonna look and see what the distortion is on this head unit. So let's check it out. The Alpine CDA 7977. All right, real quick and just to walk through what I have set up here, I've got the DD1 hooked in directly to the output of the CDA 7977, the front channel, and also have that same channel going into the input here of the distortion meter. So, what we're gonna do here, I have a lot of things to show you, but I'll show you each of them all at one time. We've got this on track two, this is the DD1 disc, and that is the one kilohertz test tone. The reason we chose that is because this unit detects distortion at 400 hertz or one kilohertz. Unfortunately, it does not do 40, so what we're gonna do is I'm gonna try to not get my hand in the way and I'm gonna crank this up. Hopefully you can see the number. See that it jumped a little bit, but check that out, okay? So we have the volume on 35, that's as high as it goes, it will not turn anymore. 35, won't go anymore, whoops, go at 35. Okay, so first thing we're gonna notice is the voltage. It's actually over five volts. Check out the distortion, folks. Less than 0.04%, I would say. And let's see, we have the DD1. It's detected one kilohertz, as it should. It does not see distortion. Check out the O-scope. Clean, 5.3 volts. No problem with that waveform at all. Now, what I want to do real quick is I want to turn the volume back down. You see the meter jump a little bit. Since it's so low in distortion, what we can do is I can turn this back down and I can set this to the lowest range it has, which is 0.1 because we're less than 0.1%. I'm going to crank this all the way up. You can see it's fluctuating because of my finger. So there we go, the top row move the decimal over two points. So instead of 0.5, I'm sorry, move it over one to the left. It's point, between 0 0.04 and 0.05% distortion at maximum output. And this is the one kilohertz, zero dB test tone. And again, 5.3 volts, one kilohertz, no distortion. Very cool. So this is the newest test device here on the old school stereo test bench, the Panasonic Distortion Meter VP7704P. This is Big D Wiz. More stuff coming to you soon. Until next time, I'm out of here.